I'm all done with work now. It's a beautiful day out. It's so calm right now. That's really, really nice. It's feeling like a turn of season. Hopefully it stays that way. It'll probably go back to winter a couple more times. But this winter was very easy winter. Anyways, I'm gonna head over to see Pete at his shop and see what he did today. So let's go. Starts up right away when it's warm out. Yeah, it's warmed up. All right, onward. term for what you're doing and what is the name of the material or, or you know the I guess this would be caulking before people know caulking as what they're caulking. Oh right. This, this is, is caulking. This yeah. is the original caulking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then they would put uh hot tar over the top of Yeah this. hot but tar. First you'd paint it with uh linseed oil and then we're gonna put a just because we did the rest of the boat with hot tar, but every once in a while you don't feel like heating up the hot tar kettle and getting all crazy, so. Hot tar just sounds kind of medieval. It's pretty fun. And, and, and maybe a little tar archaic. Feather. Yeah, tar feather, exactly. It works but really it works, good. Right, yeah, that's that's it. It's time, time uh, tested and yeah. uh, tried and true. And when you're out there at sea, you just need something that's gonna fail yeah so we you know we went with this neoprene cement over the tar because the tar tends to crack a little bit and get little drips but they're 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 compatible yeah that's the only thing we found that was compatible we tried some stuff and it would eat the tar and then finally we found this neoprene gasket cement for roofs at home depot oh and it it likes the tar. They get along with it. So. Okay. And what's the product name there? Oh, what is that? Neoprene gasket. Neoprene gasket uh, cement. Sponsored by. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I know who makes it. We use this product. Are we gonna get sponsored or what? <laughs> yeah. Look how much of this we use. The whole tube. You know, we've had a lot of people um, actually <laughs> write and say, "Why isn't um, you know like wooden boat following?" Or any of you know? I mean, why why aren't they? They don't like us. We're not from New England. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Well, maybe you're not just on their radar enough yet, and maybe you just need to, you know, be found. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah. yeah. You know. We're not too squeaky. Or the leaky boat gets the caulk, as <laughs> the case may be. We're gonna sail up to New England, I think, this summer. Oh yeah, give them hell up. Then there. when they see us, they'll be like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I feel like, you know, I would have missed out on a lot if I didn't pop <laughs> in. It's pretty fun to watch. Uh, it's a very zen uh, technique here. Yeah. Zen and the art of boat maintenance. And it smells nice. <laughs> yeah, we've been surrounded by fiber, uh, fiberglass boats down in, down in the boatyard. And, this poor people are grinding on glass and, and wearing full suits. Look at the wearing these full suits, and we're yeah. we're cutting like, into this beautiful in? little heart pine and that I reclaimed and oak and cypress and.
back here because um, Layla can jump all over this hatch and the caulking that's on the hatch is still a little tacky. So we did uh, we did the hatch, but then we didn't do too much on the other than shop maintenance, taking care of things in the shop that's been needing to be taken care of, garbage run, patching the roof, fun things like that. But I didn't uh, I didn't film just because it's not really boat related. So uh, anyways, we're gonna head back to Norda and put the hatch back on and see how she fits. Unfortunately, we got. Um, we gotta do the bottom and uh, Pete's shoulders not too good so I'm gonna try to get off of work a little early to come by and help him hold up things and um, so I hold it up while he hammers but uh, anyways head back to Norton Grab the edges, that's why they're there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! God, that was a lot of work. Believe it or not, that was a lot of work. We still ain't done. We gotta put something here to hold it down now. Yeah. But that'll be. <laughs> Beautiful. I like how it's a little smaller than the other one. It's like, it's a smaller hatch. It's not really a smaller hatch. But these are smaller, so it makes it look like a smaller hatch. It's actually, I think, thicker than that one is. That one's a little thinner. Celebration time, y'all! Woo! I'm a little overkill. Guys, we forgot about the tiller. Cool. We factored all that in. Have some beer and chill out a little bit tonight. Have a little celebration for finishing the hatch. He puts the beer right in front of the camera. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. I'm drunk. And going down is going to be real easy. And you still have to step on that corner. And we can make that a step, that corner. Yeah, why is that? We can make that a step. We don't even need that. Because that's like a corner of the bed. We can turn that into a step. Why don't we take that and foam then you step piece out? There. Take that foam piece out and see how that helps. Well, I think it should be... Let's take it out and see what happens. Like, well, I think try that's it. too low. But... Yeah, that's good. I'll tell you one thing, it'll make me be able to get in and out with my gimp army. Aww. <laughs>